Hi, I'm Nick from Rick Stein's Cookery School here in Padstow, and today we're going to butterfly mackerel. So I've got a beautiful mackerel here. Um, technically, we call it a butterfly, but this is more um, correctly a flapper portion. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove the head and the central spine and just leave the fillet attached at the tail here. Okay, uh, so what you're going to need to do this is a good filleting knife, a bendy filleting knife, and uh, some pin boners, some tweezers. Okay, right, so the guts are still in the mackerel, so I'm going to show you a nice little technique to get them out with a little fuss. So we're just going to do the twist and pull method. So we're going to cut behind the two little fins here, gently up behind the pectoral fin, down to the spine, and then marry that cut up, being careful not to cut through the guts underneath here. Okay, and then all you need to do is just twist and pull and all the guts come out in one go. Just going to open up the fish now through, the, through its bottom here, through the gut cavity, open it up and then get yourself a little bit of kitchen roll and just clean out any remaining guts in there. Okay, there can be quite a lot of blood in mackerel so just give it a nice little wipe out so it makes it easier to work with. There we go. By taking the head off, it's going to make the next stage even easier because we can see exactly what we've got to do and where the spine is. Okay, um, mackerel is an incredibly soft fish, so you've got to be really gentle with it and don't damage it with your non-knife hand. So what I'm going to do is just get the, fit, the knife, rest it on top of the spine here, and just using big strokes, cut all the way down the fish, just so I can feel the spine as I'm going down and stop. Critically, you've got to stop just before the tail there. Okay, and then turn the fish over and do the same from the other side. All the way down, nice big strokes, and then cut through like that. Okay, we've removed that central spine. We do have another stage to do. We've got to get rid of any remaining rib bones. So you're just going to scoop those out, trim up the fillet, and then also we need to pin bone the mackerel. Lots and lots of pin bones on an oily fish like mackerel, and they run from here all the way down to here. So about three quarters of the length of the fillet is all pin bones. So what we're going to do to make it even easier is we're going to V cut, okay? So just very gently with your knife, just cut along the line of those bones at a slight angle going in. Being careful not to go through the um, skin and then just get your pin boners, grab hold and just pull out that whole line of bones, okay? And just comes out nice and easily. Just make sure you've got all the ones out from the top here. And the same on the other side. And what I like about doing this technique is now we've got a cavity as well to stuff. So if you want to stuff your mackerel with um, some mushrooms or a curry paste or something like that, then you've got a nice little cavity to, to, to stuff, okay? And so we're just going to pull that out like so. Just make sure you haven't got any stragglers behind. But there we go, nice and cleanly removed. And then you're just going to put your stuffing in, season your fish, any bit of stuffing you want to put in there. And then if you've got two bits of string underneath the fish like that, and then we're going to do a fishing knot. So we'll just go under once, under twice, pull that tight and that locks it and then do the same on top. So under once, under twice and pull that nice and tight. Okay. And do another one at the front. So you go under once, under twice, pull that nice and tight and then the same on top. So under once, under twice and then you can trim up the string. And we've got our butterflied or flapper portion of mackerel. There we go.